Following up on Katie and Ollie's run submitted and reviewed in the Trial Review Tuesday, here we had a VIP submit us a video of their run from the exact same trial on the exact same course. And what was really fun and interesting about this is they ran it exactly how I recommended with regard to the changes in strategy to what we discussed in that plan and in that breakdown. So uh, what we're going to see here is picking up the dog on right out of the tunnel. And the reason I haven't started playing it just yet is because we are going to see a little bit of a shift in where the handler starting position is on the two runs. Okay, so last night we saw Katie start more over here. It gives a more perpendicular entry to the tunnel, but then she was able to pick up Ollie on the landing side of jump number two. Here we can see a change in position to make it easier to pick up dog on right. So we may do a little bit of shift in the starting position if you go for this strategy. Now keep in mind that in AKC, we do have to start on the approach side of the tunnel. So we can't send from back here, you know, where we would then try to send into the tunnel. I don't know that that offers a tremendous amount of value anyway. So what we're going to see is that recommended handling strategy that we talked about. So sending to the tunnel, dog on left. But that change in starting position allows to pick them up dog and right. So right here coming out, you can see already prepared for that left-hand turn. There's no lead change happening at the jump. There's no change of direction happening at the jump. We can see a very nice line over number two, prepared for that left-hand turn over number three. So that was the one change that we talked about. Coming around the pinwheel here, we're still going to do all dog on right. There's no reason for any changes or side changes here, but... Coming across, given this pinwheel being pretty shallow and how easy it is to get this jump, my recommendation was the blind here between the two winglesses, not only to stay ahead, but also that blind cross is going to eliminate the off course here that Ollie looked at and keep the handler ahead for where we did end up seeing Katie's refusal. So coming around here, we get commitment to this jump. So watch the timing of this because this is really nice. We get commitment to this jump. She says, Got it, and then goes right into the blind cross and bringing him over jump, bringing her over that jump dog on left. You can see there's no doubt that we are going straight through the box. There is no deviating off to that, of course, not even looking at it. And then now, handler's ahead coming down this line. So we once again see a nice straight line here. No issues getting that jump and then we have the finish the same way. So both of these two videos were looking at the same ending from the weave poles on. I did not feel like a change in strategy or a change in execution was necessary on that ending, but this was just a great follow-up video to take a look at some of those changes that we discussed and how well it worked for these two as a team. Great job.